Huawei makes some of the coolest phones on the market. Whether we're talking about the massive trifold Mate XT, which is like nothing else, or the camera focused flagships like the Pura series. However, none of these devices support Google services, and for a lot of people, that's an absolute deal breaker. Thankfully, getting set up with native Google apps is pretty easy, and today I'm going to show you how. This is the new Pura 80 Ultra, fresh out the box. It's running EMUI, it's the global version, but I think the following steps will work with Harmony OS in pretty much the exact same way. So first we'll get the phone set up, and there's nothing special you need to do here at all, you just go through all the steps like you would normally. You'll probably need to log into your Huawei account. Okay, now we're all set up, and you can see from the splash screen we're on EMUI 15. And we're on our home screen, you want to open the browser, go to the search bar, type in microg.org. I'll link it in the description of this video, but you probably can't get to that on this phone because you won't have YouTube yet. On this page, you can hit jump to bottom, then downloads, then single file downloads. So we'll start with microg services, go to the GitHub page, scroll down until you see this release artifacts section, and it will tell you which specific files you need for Huawei. It's the second bullet point. So you can see the first one, ends in 2014-hw.apk and the second one ends in 2614-hw.apk they might change in the future but they're always going to end in dash hw for Huawei so get to the actual releases and you can't see them fully right now so we need to switch to landscape mode the first one we need is this top one hit that, hit download and install that then tap done the next one we need is down here ending in 2014-HW, tap that, tap download, install that as well, then press done. Then we can go back to the downloads page and we want this last one, framework proxy, go to the release page and there's only one option here, download that and press install. We're also going to need a replacement for the Play Store and we'll use Aurora. So if you just search Aurora OSS, it'll be the first one. Hit the hamburger menu at the top, press downloads, Aurora Store, go to latest, latest APK, download that, install, and press done. Then we can go into our settings and search Micro G. First we're going to go into Micro G services and we're going to enable all the permissions here. Just give it the highest level of permission that's available for everything because this is essentially replacing Google services and you want Google services to be able to access everything. So once you've done that, hit this little cog at the top right go to self-check and you should see that all of these are ticked except for this one uh, which says find accounts on the device that never seems to work for me doesn't seem to cause any issues and uh, work profile is the same at the bottom but this one draw over wraps you do want that so tap on there search for micro g and allow it then that one's ticked as well looking good so next go to google accounts tap on that add google account and sign into your Google account. Obviously, I'm not going to show you my password. You will probably need to do a two step verification. It's me. And we're logged in to our Google account. So that's Micro G set up essentially. Then we can go to the Aurora store and set this up. It's basically the same thing. You just need to grant permissions and they're all helpfully listed for you the first time you try and use the app. Let it do whatever it wants. Tap finish. And I never really log into this properly. I just tap anonymous and that seems to work fine because you'll log into the apps once they're downloaded. This is just to download the apps. I guess certain paid apps you might want to be logged into the Aurora store. So now we're in, tap search and it'll work just like the Play Store. So let's try and get Chrome. So you can see we've got Chrome at the top. Hit install, it seems to be working. Hit install again and again and open. And as you can see, my Google account is right here. I can press continue and that's it. We're in, I've got all my bookmarks, my history, just like I was on any other Android device. And you just go into Aurora store and download all your apps and they should work pretty much flawlessly. So yeah, just a quick one today. Tried to keep it as brief as possible. Hope you found it useful. Click subscribe if you like this kind of thing because I've got a lot more content about the Pura 80 Ultra coming up soon. And I'll catch you in the next one. Toodles.